because I grew up just down the street so I've lived here my whole life in this area and I remember it when it was just one little building in 1956 ish 58 wow. and this was all fields around it and we played as children in the fields around here so it's always been around in my life. To meet at least uh, together with the Italian lady all the other people anyway to be together and to go to come to the bank show supper dance and to meet a lot of people and it's, that's what I enjoy Clover Roma. Uh, it's a place where uh, our Italian heritage is still alive and well. Um, in this you know multicultural country it's good to have a place that uh, you have the same backgrounds, the same heritage, same ideals I guess. Clover Roma to me means home. No matter where you are in your life, what you're going through, Club has always been there to welcome you back and embrace everyone with open arms. Uh, tradition, um, heritage. Uh, in just a few sentences, I would say um, community. Well, it's a word, not a sentence. Um, yeah, it's a place, community, or the Italians come, or where they came, where they started. So I moved here from London on a whim because I wanted a fresh start and just something new. And Club Roma was the job that I got hired at. Thank you, Richard and Steve. <laughs> and it's home. It's just family. Okay, now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but, um, Club Roma, I would say, is a kind of like a family to me. Um, even before I was Club Roma, I grew up coming to Club Roma all the time, so it's a great way to practice my Italian heritage and just see all these people here that are like family to me growing up, so it's just a, a wonderful place to be. Uh, I would say Club Roma means to me uh, family. It's a great place to work, to hang out, enjoy yourselves, meet a lot of new people here all the time, and the food is amazing. I would say in a couple sentences what Club Roma means to me is that, yeah, it's a great atmosphere, um, you know, working here is, is great, everybody's super friendly, every night's different, whether it's a wedding or a baptism or a shower, so every day is different, and yeah, it's just a very inclusive place to work. First and foremost, it's a place that I'm very passionate about my Italian background, so I know it's a place that uh, celebrates that um, by you know, the functions we do, the, uh, you know, everything from dinner dances to Tiamo Festival to, you know, the different, um, I'm going to use the LaGuardia Night here, like all the different things we do here um, help to keep our Italian heritage alive. So that's number one for me. And also it's a place for me to come and socialize and, uh, you know, just to spend time and, um, and uh, I feel very comfortable here. So Roma for me was, uh, I want to call it the SS Club Roma because uh, that saved me. They threw the life preserver out, dangled the carrot. I bit and I'm here today and uh, happier, thinner, and well, with longer hair. <laughs> well, it means a lot. Um, first of all, because my dad was one of the founding members, so it's always been very near and dear to my heart. Um, We've done many things with the club over the years. My children were involved with the folk arts, with the dance group. Uh, we were involved with doing the floats for the great parade. Uh, there's been many, many things. I've always been a very proud member of Club Roma. Uh, right now, Club Roma means everything. It's, it's, it's an extended family to my own family. Uh, you know, I, I come here daily but it doesn't feel like work. It, it feels like you're part of something and uh, that you're growing and building something. And, and to me, that's important. And it, it makes showing up here every day very easy. So it's really the family culture. I just, it always feels like home. I was actually showing a friend the other day 
and she said she instantly felt nostal nostalgic and like she was at home and it just it happens to everyone as soon as you walk into the building you feel like you're at home it's a place to make new friends do good community work and uh, actually helping to do new things in the club and working with the rest of the membership. Um, so yeah, so the club is, it's a place um, where you can kind of come together and unexpectedly is kind of like a second family for me. Like you kind of like very quickly become part of the team in like a very like connected way, um, which is rare to find in a place where you work. In the short time I've been working at Club Roma, Club Roma has become a second home. The people I work with have become almost more family than some of my family at home. We spend so much time together that, you know, they're usually the first people I turn to when I need something. Um, it's nice that we are so close to home just because of my family life and everything at home. It's a quick drive away and it's comfortable. I guess the word I'm looking for is Club Roma is comfortable. Everything. I, I grew up here. I came with my dad when I was five years old when they were laying the stones in the first building. And I've been involved ever since. I was the youth group president. I was the soccer president. I've been the president of Club Roma. I was instrumental in creating the community that we have now in terms of bringing in the villas, the La Roma and Villa Serena for our aging members, and it's, it's, it's a dream come true. Dolores? Yes, it's a place where we gather and we brought friends here, and everybody that we brought here has enjoyed uh, the food and the entertainment. Well, Club Roma has created a space for Italians to uh, attend and, uh, you know, a place where the community can come, a place where people, dreams come true, they have weddings. Um, yeah, it's a great place. Uh, a legacy, I think anyone who comes to Club Roma or has ever been a part of Club Roma, you, you don't forget a place like this. It's just home. In one or two words? Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Um, great memories. I think Club Roma has created a place that people want to come, people want to work, because it's always about family and community and fun. I feel like community within a community, if that makes sense. I think it is a safe space and a place where it's just, you go, you can have events, even outside of people. I feel like when they come here, they have a sense of like belonging and they are a part of a family when they come here. I think the workers here, whether you are kitchen staff or you're bartending staff or serving, you all are inter and you're a one big happy family and I think Club Irma has just spread that to St. Catharines and the Niagara area even farther Toronto GTA. Club Roma for me has definitely created a legacy uh, something that will continue for years there's definitely a sense of pride here um, you know you, you talk to people you run into them in the parking lot and they love to tell you a story on how they were involved with Club Roma and, and what it's meant to them and, and what it is now and how proud they are. So for me, um, it's definitely pride and it's, you know, being, being um, so happy with all the stuff that we've built and, and we'll continue to build and we're excited about that. Community in a very good way, very positive way. Community, um, not just for Italians, but for, for the city itself. Really a sense of community. The community. This amazing community of people. A great community. A sense of community. They built community. It's created a community. Not only for us, 
but for the actual community, Niagara region, uh, a place for people to come and, and spend time with friends and relatives, uh, enjoying camaraderie, food, dance. That's what we're all about here. Any uh, place to, you know, have a good time and, um, yeah, it's almost like a home away from home kind of thing. I guess I would have to say just maybe getting La Terraza up and running to, you know, its capabilities or its um, ability and what it stands for. So. I don't think I can narrow it down to one. I think my biggest accomplishment is just being able to kind of grow from starting out as a server and then going to bartending and then late night, I guess late night and then bartending, doing bistro, just kind of being able to expand like my what I do here and, and grow from just kind of waiting on tables and just being able to be somebody that can be dependent on. I would say it was the ability to grow from starting here when I was in high school uh, and working my way up now to uh, full-time bartending at the club. But I started in the dish pit, worked my way through, a little kitchen work, serving, you know, odd jobs here and there. I, uh, today, as of this day, what's the day today? The 29th? The 30th? 29th? The 30th. 30th? Today's the 30th. So if I do the math, uh, I'm three years, three months, and 21 days stone cold sober without a drink, and that is my biggest accomplishment here. And like I said, I couldn't have done it without our team here. We have a wonderful team, of management team, and we're close, and we're family, and we look out for each other, and it's just not a job. It's It's... It's how I feel about everybody around here. They did the, me the ultimate favor, didn't have to. And like I said, I can never ever repay the debt that's been bestowed upon me. I, I thank you all so much. I, three days are sitting here and I can see us and I think it's just absolutely wonderful what you did. I don't smile very much, my teeth are ugly, but I just the smile right now is natural. You saved me, I feel better today. Um, I'm here today. My favorite memory is when I was a server, I was too cocky <laughs> and carrying crostily on a tray and a piece fell right onto Angelo Ferrazzi's head. <laughs> and someone across the table said, hey Angelo, there's head and shoulders for that. <laughs> Apology. <laughs> Just the people getting married, meeting all the people, different workers in the last 30 years, members that have come and gone. Um, yeah, just the gratitude from people when you're helping them. But as far as one specific thing, I would say probably when meeting a couple prime ministers that have come here. <laughs> I think a lot of the outdoor functions that we've had, like the Ballo al Chiar di Luna, which is out under the pavilion in the summertime, it's always a great time. We've always had a great time. We've made a lot of friends here over the years. Many, many good friends. My memory, to be with every, with all the members, you know, to get, to get along and to work hard to make back club. My favorite memory, I think it might have been one of my first days when I thought I was coming in for an interview, <laughs> but it was a uh, can you start today kind of interview. <laughs> and um, Stephen was actually the head server then, and so I walked around with Stephen and he trained me and showed me all around. and. Uh, yeah, and it just sort of progressed from there, and I really enjoyed doing it and kept coming back, so. Oh. My favorite memory? I, I got married here, actually. Oh, that's a good one. It was good or bad, I guess. I got married here, but it was a great time. I had a great time here. Um, my kids were baptized here, yeah. so we have a few memories. My dad's 90th uh, and birthday was here. So, yeah, a lot of memories. Amazing. A memory? Yeah. There's um, a lot. <laughs> yeah. 
Honestly, every shift is a memory because <laughs> crazy things happen all the time. But my favorite memory, staff parties are really fun. Um, weddings are very fun. All different, very entertaining. My favorite memory would probably be meeting you and obviously Ryan. That's about it. My lover. <laughs> Favorite memory of Club Roma, I think for me would be uh, the early days of being in the, the folk arts dance group here. Mm -hmm. um, back in the day when we had a uh, you know, real active dance group, we used to travel with the club and do things like the chain picnic and uh, you know, other performances like that or even at the, um, the Grape and Wine Parade we would, uh, we would be at the uh, arena and perform. And we had a great time doing that. We had a great bunch of people, and that's probably one of my highlights here. Well, I think I got to go back to the last major anniversary. Uh, the 50th anniversary here at Club Roma was spectacular. That sticks in my mind as one of the highlights. It was well put together, well run, uh, well well attended. A lot of politicians came. Um, the club was decorated so beautifully. It's not what it. It's, it, it, we've come a long way since then, so, but uh, yeah, that one sticks out in my mind. It was a really great day, really great day. And then? Probably that and having our daughter's wedding here was very memorable. Yeah. Oh, Tiamo Festival has always been my favorite thing about Cobroma. Um, every year it was always my favorite thing. My nono used to make the porchetta and it was, I used to volunteer when I was younger, so um, when I came and I got crowned as this Cabroma, it was at the Tiamo Festival and I remember it was like a big celebration. My family was so happy and it was just, uh, it was a great day. So that's probably my favorite. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> um, I love, love planning staff parties for the staff because they work very, very hard and they deserve it. Um, we had this, the first ever staff party I was able to plan was this giant speakeasy party and it was absolutely crazy, but it was one of the greatest times and I think that was six months after I had started and I think that was the first time I truly felt like part of the family. And then I would also say like just all the people. I work with some pretty incredible people. Probably when we were a lot younger and more ambitious, um, the uh, Valentine's dances that we had, the Halloween, the Christmas parties, the theme parties, uh, they were very entertaining and I think they brought more members into the club. Okay. So I would say like, a lot of the times, like the back of the kitchen and that where we kind of can be, a little, have a little bit more fun and a little bit more, um, kind of let loose a little bit is always where we have like the most memories created I would say, but as far as like events go, one that always sticks out in my mind is, um, it actually was last summer we had uh, a night ceremony in our Tuscan garden and it was one of the first times that I kind of walked past that garden that kind of looks the same to me every day that I, I it turned into this like magical place and it was it was very romantic and the couple was just lovely and, and, um, and that really sticks out to me as uh, a really special moment for me. Favorite memory? Uh, probably, you know, they're not the best stories in the world. But at the end of the day, it's some of the people um, that I remember more than the memories. Um, you know, there's some personalities that have come through here. Um, and they, the passion that Italians have for their culture and for each other and just the way they live their lives, that's probably to me one of the best memories. Well, that's hard. <laughs> there's a lot. <laughs> there, there's a lot. Um, you know, Club Roma's Club, Club Roma's had some ups and downs, like any other family, workplace, home type environment. Um, you know, some memories are great, some memories are good, some memories are. You know, we kind of look back at that and laugh now, but we were crying when it happened. Um, but you know, I met my boyfriend at Club Roma. We worked together here. Um, I got a job for my foster daughter, so she works here now too. And 
I would have to say some of my favorite memories are just all the staff getting together after shift, you know, sitting down, reflecting on the night, sharing stories, experiences, and just being able to have that relaxing environment with people and just feeling comfortable again. Like that's probably one of the most important things about a workplace. It's trusting your management, knowing your team, being able to rely on your team and the people around you and feeling comfortable. Um, you know, being in a workplace that lets you let go of your anxieties or your self doubts or anything like that, it's, it's not common and a lot of people wish for it. We are lucky enough to have it. Club Baroma, 60 years, what a run, and I think it's just the beginning. With what we uh, are doing now uh, in terms of uh, social aspects of this club, uh, and what, we, what we're going to become, uh, our growing soccer program, all these things to bring the community tighter into Club Baroma, I think we're here to stay for a long, long time. Congratulations Club Roma, another 50 more to go. I just want to wish everybody a happy anniversary. Uh, I'm so proud to be part of Club Roma and what it's become. And I'm so looking forward to the next 60 years and seeing where uh, we're going to go. And I, I know there's nowhere to go but up at the end of the day. And, and um, we're really looking forward to this year coming up and then the next few following. We have big things happening. Very happy anniversary to Club Roma. Nice to have uh, 60 years. I think we're one of the oldest, if not the oldest, in the peninsula. Thank you. Happy anniversary for everybody and for the club anyway. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. We love you. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. We love you. Happy anniversary to the club. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. 60 years and going strong. Happy anniversary, Club Roma, 60 years and hope for another 100 years. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary, Club Roma, happy 60 years. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. Hey, Club Roma, both of us turned 60 this year. I was born January 9th, 61, and uh, I believe you were very close to me. So, uh, happy birthday to both of us, Roma. Happy anniversary, Club Roma. Um, here's to another 60 years. Um, I can't wait to see what the future brings. Club Roma, Club Roma fan, happy anniversary. Thank you so much for listening to all our great stories. There's so much more to come in the month of April. We're excited about our 60 year diamond anniversary. We have great giveaways, the opening again of La Terrazza, getting outside and enjoying our great patio. We have our excellent Easter market coming up this Saturday. I hope you join us. And we have much, much more happening here at the club. We're giving away lasagna for the full month, uh, for a whole year. And just to again, continue to celebrate with us on our diamond anniversary, 60 years at Club Roma. We're looking forward to seeing you soon. Thank you.